It's big announcement day in Pokemon Go. November events are going off. Are you ready for this? As the year draws to a close, we're excited to let you know about the Pokemon Go events on the horizon. Look forward to in-game festivities that will explore Pokemon types, introduce you to legendary Pokemon, and celebrate friendship during this joyful time. So, first up, super effective week. Did you know that fairy type moves are super effective in battle against fighting type Pokemon? Yes, yes we did. Or that psychic type Pokemon are weak to bug type moves? We also knew that, right? You knew that? If you've been watching this channel, you know that. Take part in super effective week to learn more about Pokemon types, and you might discover an exciting Pokemon to partner up with in battle against Team Go Rocket. So kind of cool that they're doing this. I know a lot of people struggle with type matchups, um, so it's good to see that kind of emphasized in-game to help people get through these now more difficult Team Go Rocket battles. Starting Tuesday, November 19th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, so that's next Tuesday, until Tuesday, November 26th at 1 p.m. Pacific time, one week. Pokemon that might be strong partners in battle against Team Go Rocket and other trainers will be appearing more often in the wild, in raids, and in field research. The fact that it says against other trainers means like maybe we're going to see an emphasis on some of the Pokemon that are popular in Great League PvP, so that would be really cool. And if you're lucky, you might encounter a shiny Tentacool. Bonuses include double Stardust from trainer battles, more potions and revives from Pokestops, bless up, they heard my cries, and guaranteed charge TMs from 3 star or higher raids. So this is definitely kind of a PvP focused week. Now if you're lucky, you might find Shiny Tentacool. Great news, the Pike is a Tentacool nest currently. Bad news, the next migration is at like 5 o'clock this afternoon. So. This nest has been Tentacool for the last two weeks, and I've been upset about it. And now that Shiny Tentacool is being released, Tentacool is about to go bye-bye from the pike. So, get out there this afternoon, uh, tomorrow, anytime this weekend. Check all your local nests. See if anything becomes a Tentacool nest, and make sure you report that to the Silk Road Nest Atlas. Hello, Tentacool. Uh, because Tentacool, it's a great Shiny. It's one that I definitely want to hunt. I was hoping that, well, the pike's not going to be a tentacle nest. So if you find a tentacle nest, let everyone know. Sylph Nest Atlas, it's in the description. I know it's been a while since we've talked about it, but uh, check your parks. Let your local community know where the tentacle nests are starting, like, in a few hours after this video goes up. Nests are going to rotate, and hopefully, if you're lucky, you'll get a tentacle nest in your city. Next up on our list of exciting announcements for the day, Terrakion is the next legendary raid boss in Pokemon Go. So it's another member of the Swords of Justice trio. Uh, it's got some very nice gladiator sandals on uh, to match, I guess, Cobalion's moon boots. Interesting shoe choices, these legendaries. But Terrakion's coming next. Uh, Terrakion, the cavern Pokemon, is coming to five-star raids. This rock and fighting type legendary Pokemon is said to be strong enough to destroy an entire castle. It'll be in your favorite challenge it with water, grass, fighting, ground, psychic, steel, and fairy type Pokemon. Yes, it has a lot, a lot of weaknesses, but it's also uh, a very good Pokemon. It's a great rock type attacker. It's going to be a lot more interesting than Cobalion, I think, to raid. Because of its moveset, it'll officially become the second best rock-type DPS under Rampardos. It gets both Smackdown and Rock Slide just like Rampardos, but its attack stat isn't as high. Its defensive stats, though, much better. So if you need rock-type attackers, if you don't have Smackdown, Stone Edge, Tyranitars, uh, if you don't have Rampardos or many Rampardos, Terrakion is a great, great rock-type attacker. That's gonna happen when Cobalion leaves Tuesday, November 26th. That's two weeks from now uh, at 1 p.m. Pacific time until Tuesday, December 17th at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time, interestingly enough. Extra 30 minutes there. So until a week before Christmas, we're gonna see Terrakion in raids. And once that is released, once Terrakion's here, we'll go over counters, but it's got a long list. Water, grass, fighting, ground, psychic, steel, and fairy types, so you should be able to uh, put together a team pretty easily. 
Lastly, on our list of events coming before the end of the month, Friend Fest. Celebrate the spirit of family and friendship with the first ever Friend Fest. So this is like Pokemon Go Thanksgiving. Uh, from Wednesday, November 27th at 1 p.m. Pacific time until Monday, December 2nd at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Five days for this one. Features encounter family-themed Pokemon such as Nidoran, male, Nidoran female, their evolutions, and more in the wild and in research tasks. So two shinies that I like, two very good shinies. Did trade away my only female Nidoran shiny, so I need another one of those. Uh, bonuses include half Stardust trade cost. You can make two special trades per day and you'll get an attack boost when you raid with friends. So if you're spending Thanksgiving with family and your family plays Pokemon Go, like mine does, this is a great time to get some trades in half Stardust cost, two special trades, and an attack boost when you raid. So, happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for friends and family and Pokemon. Th thank you, Game Freak. Is that what we're doing? Thank you, Game Freak. But also, thank you, Niantic. All right. Quick video, I know. But before I get to editing, there is one more exciting announcement. Wayfarer is live globally. We're excited to announce the worldwide rollout of Niantic Wayfarer, a tool for determining Pokestops and gyms to level 40 trainers. In addition, level 40 trainers worldwide will now be able to, will now be eligible to submit Pokestop and gym nominations within Pokemon Go. So it's finally here. Finally. Three and almost a half years later, we can now submit Pokestops worldwide. Um, so once I've had a chance to like go through and get familiar with everything, I'll put up a video explaining how to use Wayfarer, but for now, level 40 trainers, get ready. Pokestop's incoming. All right, see you very soon with a Wayfarer tutorial. Bye.